Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Construction Simulator 2015 with me, Brad M73. And we are here, I think this is episode four. Um, looks like you guys are really enjoying the, uh, the series, so I uh, appreciate uh, you guys following along. As always, don't forget to like and share my videos because it helps my channel grow. And, um, and it helps me out too, so I really appreciate it. <laughs> All the support you guys have given me. Um, Okay, in this episode, we need to get a new job. Get a new job. And we've got this one here. Roof extension on a single family house pays 32900 So I'm going to go, let's see, we need to transport four square meters of earth from the gravel plant into the marked area at the construction site. <clears throat> Drive a small excavator to the construction site. Get one building waste container from the construction site and transport the cargo wait into the plant okay uh what the heck is going on here I'm not really sure what's going on drive a small escort okay transfer okay well we'll we'll do that we'll accept this contract it seems like it's not making much sense compared to other contracts I've done but um uh, oh, we the construction site's like right over here. It's like right up there on the corner. Well, I tell you what, I'm not even gonna bother putting this up on the flatbed. I'm just gonna drive this bad boy right over there as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> we can we can even go inside for this. Boy, we are we are we are going so fast. Good thing they put like they built these things out of ceramic because you know the heat build up. No, I'm just kidding. It's like the space shuttle. We're going so fast. I can see the heat from all the friction of the air. You know, causing the uh, the, the the bucket to melt. Look, guy. <laughs> no, I'm being facetious in the worst possible way. Um, have I? Let's see. It seems like I've done this job on my other game. I kind of do, um, you know, when I play games like this, I, I kind of do like an offline game, and then I do like an online game, usually for the first few episodes. Once I kind of get the hang of ga the games, um, I'll do, depending on the game, I, I, you know, like a game like this where it's kind of mission-based, I usually just tend to do the Let's Plays, or I forget about the game and it dies forever. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, hello, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Yeah, you're going to turn down that road. Um, but yeah, you know, so I've been kind of getting used to this game a little bit on my, uh, my mother account, my other gaming profile. And, uh, so yeah, okay. Transport four square meters of earth. Okay, I don't know really why, but okay, whatever. Where do we have to do that? We have to do that over here. Wait. Transport four square meters of earth from the gravel plant to the marked area construction site and then load them. Is it supposed to go there? Oh man, this is not... Well, I know how to get four square meters of, of earth and that's in this bad boy. So we're gonna put the little wheel down. Come on, put the wheel down. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to run over to the, hello, to the gravel plant, and we're going to pick up some earth here in our little flatbed, which should be right at four square meters, I think. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Okay. 
What's what's kind of weird is that we have to drop off the dirt, then bring dirt back to the dra- <laughs> the gravel pit, and I've not had that happen before, so I don't know what that's all about. No idea whatsoever. Okay, so let's slow down a little bit. It's like Formula One man trucks. Man, can you imagine a a semi truck if it was, you know, kitted out for form like an F1 engine? That would just be ridiculous. Oh, did you guys see the uh, the video of the Renault? Uh, ramping over the uh, the F1 car. Speaking of F1, it was pretty cool. It was. Okay, so basically, what we have to do is we have to come in here. think it's right I think it's over here I think you can just pull into any of these three stations and it will just dump earth or whatever you need you know it's I'm pretty sure all three of them are exactly the same yeah bam there we go and it charges us two grand for for that earth so um, what is my phone doing my phone's barking at me here Uh Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> My uh had a little family uh message there. So uh just wanted to make sure that uh nothing was wrong. Okay. So we are here in Bayak. Okay. You know what's weird is like, uh, you know, some missions you'll put, you'll put a few, um, you know, pallets on the back of your truck and you end up going really slow. And yet I can put like a whole load of earth in the back and I feel like, you know, the performance of the, the truck is about the same, if not even better than it was before. All right, let's go ahead and make a right, head on back up to the construction zone, and I'm really hoping that I have to dump that earth off in that little square box, because if not, I'm ski rude. I didn't see any other place for it to go, though, so... Um, We'll, we'll wait and see. Okay, we're going way fast into town here. It seemed like uh, there was... Uh, uh, one, uh, one of you guys had asked about the game, you know, this game's performance on older computers... Um, you know, I really can't say. I'm running a pretty high-end computer. This is a, a an Intel i7 4700 HQ processor. It is a mobile processor based on the Haswell E technology, or, or, or Haswell, I mean, not Haswell E. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty beefy processor. I got 8 gigs of RAM, which is pretty run-of-the-mill for Windows these days. Um, if you're not running 8 gigs of RAM, you should be, uh, especially if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. And, uh, you know, I do have a good video card. It's a, it's a um, uh, GeForce GTX 9, or no, uh, 765, not a 9 series, I wish. Uh, that might be coming soon. And Okay, so now we just hit, hold the up arrow. But as far as, like, older computers, I'm not really too sure... Okay, it is going up, it is going up, it is going up, and... 
No way. No. No. <clears throat> I tell you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it right now. You guys are going to see. I'm going to go, and we're going to pick up some dirt, and I'm going to put it on to the, the construction site with this thing. Because I'm not driving all the way down there again. See, I can just, uh, I can just be like, I'm going to dig a big thing of dirt right here. Like that. <laughs> it ain't pretty, but it sure will get the job done. Let's see if this does it, and... No? Come on. Should. Oh my god. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Let's try... Let's try a different strategy. <laughs> yes, I did say strategy. Because if I said strategy, that would mean that some actual strategy was involved, in which case this is there's no strategy whatsoever. Or maybe there is a little bit, I don't know. Um, let's try to pick this up. Okay. Let's try to get a couple scoops here. Whoa. Ah. Okay, I'm going to try this. We're going to try this, guys. Okay. Ah, I'm stuck in the hole. Yeah, they'll put a jacuzzi there or something. It'll be all right. You'll see. Oh, I really hope this works. <laughs> if not, I'm so screwed. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yes! Alright. Oh, yes, that worked. Awesome. Okay, so I can reset this guy uh, back to the home base. Yes. Uh, I'm going to jump out, and I'm going to get in my other truck because we have to get the building waste container. Whoops. No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is so sad. Uh, why is... Okay, there we go. Okay, this is going to be kind of tough because the building waste container is in a really, really weird position. If you look at it there, it's kind of like all sideways-y. Um, this construction site is also very, very easy to get stuck in because see how it slopes down to the left? Uh, yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to try something here and I really hope that it works because if it doesn't, I'm screwed. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, 
Come on, give me the connect. Okay, this is not going to work. And... Alright. Can I... Gosh, this is so horrible. See if I can get in front of it here. Might actually be able to pull this off, guys. <gasps> oh, it's lined up. It's lined up. Let's pull this in just a little bit. Oh, yeah. This is going to work. Phew. So it should be secured. All right, so I'm going to take this uh, down to the gravel, uh, the gravel pit or the gravel. What is it called? The gravel plant. Okay. So I'm going to take this to the gravel plant, and uh, we will be right back. I'm going to go a slightly different way this time. May or may not be faster. All right, so we are unloading the uh, the dirt there. Um, all right, so we got paid for that. So now we're going to need to get some lumber spruce and lumber larch, I think. All right, so I'm going to reset this truck back to the, the home base. And we are going to get our... We're going to get our lumber in this guy. And, um, yeah, I've never had, I don't know why we would dump, I don't know. They're just dumping some dirt off, I guess. That's all right. <laughs> ah. It's like a Dodge van, like an older one. Or like a GM or something. <laughs> that white one that passed back there. All right, so let's head on down to the number meal. All right, so we need two spruce 0.8 meter and two large 0.8 meter. Okay. Oh, my gosh. The guy was trying to psych me out. Whoa, we got a traffic jam. Not really. Oh, come on, dude. Really? <laughs> he, like, half pulls out in front of me. And then he's like, as I'm right about to pass him anyway, he's like, oh, no, no he'll slow down. No, it doesn't quite work that way. Park here. Bam, 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 bam. Purchase. All right, so let's see what we need to do. I want to kind of see what's left on this job. All right, so stage two is just deliver this, and then stage three is what? Big roof tiles. This is all from the materials trader. Okay. So. <clears throat> So this one should, this episode should go fairly quick too. Oh, look at the castle up there. It kind of reminds me of Nishwanstein a little bit, but the roof is different. I wonder where in Germany this. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming this game is supposed to be set in Germany. Okay.
Whoa. Let's tip this sucker back. There we go. Cargo fastened. And I'm going to show you guys a f kind of a fun little trick. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it's a little bit cheaty, but, you know, if you guys are in a hurry and you don't have a ton of time, um, I'm going to show you show you how it works. Um, I, I don't plan to do this very often, but um, <clears throat> I just kind of thought it was funny because um, Somebody showed this to me yesterday, and oh my gosh, and I thought it would just be fun to kind of see if it works out in our scenario. Um, so when we get back to the construction site, we're going to try it with this load. Hello. Okay, cargo fastened. why the forklift sometimes they sound really whiny they're like Wee! and sometimes they don't I don't get it I don't get it <clears throat> okay ah. okay there's that oh okay this time we can just go from this direction. Okay. Okay, oh. Tilt that forward. Okay. You know, I think this forklift simulator is actually a bigger or a better forklift simulator than the fork forklift simulator game. Uh, give a shout out to Iron Brew Addict, um, who actually operates forklifts and. Uh, I'm pretty sure he played that game, and he, I don't remember him having great things to say about it. I think that, I'm pretty sure that was him. If not, Iron Brew, you get a free shout-out. How's that? <laughs> All right, so that's finished. I'm just going to back this guy over here. And hello. See, I wish I could run up to the castle. I tried climbing up the rocks and stuff. Nah, it doesn't work. No. Fasten the load. There we go. All right. Yeah, I, I was like, I wonder if I can just, you know, go off into the woods and go for a hike. And no, you get too far off the road and it's just like, nope, sorry. You can't go any further. I was so sad. The world is not quite as open as uh, as I thought it was. Okay. So there's a castle back there. There's a castle over there. I don't know if there's any other ones or not. I don't know if there's one up on that hill. I thought there were three of them, but I don't see the other one. Whoa! Or at least three that I know of. Okay. See, how do you how do you get up there? It's like a <laughs> there's no roads. 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 What movie is that from? <laughs> uh, 
Um, I've also heard some people complaining about the mirrors not working properly. Properly, um, sometimes they're what? Okay, there's another castle up there, straight up there. Um, some people were saying, yeah, they're not working properly. Um, I think that to me, they look a little bit more like monitors, like like LCD screens instead of mirrors. But it just could be the way that they're supposed to be reflecting, but. Knowing what I know about light and angles and, you know, the position of that mirror, uh, it doesn't look like it's, you know, positioned properly. Okay, so let's see. Where do I have to drop this stuff off? Not up there. Okay. So let's go to an external view here so we're gonna have to get it up onto there and we're gonna try we're gonna desperately try our uh, drop off technique here oh, actually wait before I do that I should detach the cargo okay Oh no, 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 no. Don't die. don't do this to me. It's like somebody spilled a put like oil or something like <laughs> somebody spilled canola oil all over the the front lawn here. Okay. All right. We're going to see if this works. I don't know if this will work in every situation, but... Oh, no. Oh, wait. There we go. There. There. Oh, no. Does it work? And... Oh. Come on. Can I, like, push it back? There you go, guys. <laughs> There's your wood. Yay! <laughs> oh, that is so fail. Um... Oh man, I wonder if we'll get enough experience to get to level five. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we just have to go down to the materials trader, which isn't very far, and uh, we'll be able to. We'll be able to get this job done. And then, um, you know, if, if we don't get to the next uh, experience or the next level, I think what I'll do is maybe I'll just do one of those real quick transport missions. Um, that way, you know, we can hopefully get to level five and see what the new mysterious job is. We're not going to do it this episode because it'll just run way too long. But uh, I want to at least get to the point where we, uh, you know, need to do... Or can we can see you know get to the point where we can see what that uh, that thing's like that that mission is like. Okay, so we'll just jump over here, beam, jump up there, say hi. Okay, two of those, one of those, and one of those purchase. Wow, six thousand six hundred. Okay. <laughs> Okay, is the back? No. Hit Y. Why? Because I like to. Okay. Alright, so let's jump in this uh, forklift. And we'll put it right here on the back of the truck. OK. 
Okay. I wish there were some shadows or something on the uh, the the, sp the sporks, the forks there. Be you know, just to kind of give you or give me a little bit of depth perception on where the you know the the those forks are. I think that would make a little bit more sense, but. Um, you know, can't ask too terrible. I, I don't know, maybe they're supposed to... Or, well, I guess we're already in shadow, but... There can be shadows in shadows. Believe me, I know. Whoa. Okay, we'll back this up. <clears throat> oh, I think I understand why they had us transport the uh, uh, the small ex excavator to the worksite. It was basically just to unload this stuff. Um, hopefully soon we won't even need the small excavator that much anymore. I kind of dis... Okay, what's up going on with the trees up there? Just tip that forward a little bit. Okay, and we will raise this up. All right. There we go. Attach Zicago and let's go. All right. And switch switch views here. See, so are you guys liking this uh series so far? I'm actually liking this game. Um, oh my gosh, don't, <clears throat> don't hit me, please. Um, you know, th this game was, uh, you know, sent to me by, uh, Excalibur Publishing. Um, and, you know, I, I think I said this maybe in the first or second episode, I'm not really sure, but I didn't really think that I would like this game that much. Uh, I was kind of dreading you know, reviewing it, and, you know, I played it countless hours, I think I probably have at least 15 or 20 hours uh, in the game on Steam already, and I'm having a great time with it. Um, it is a little bit of a, you know, it's more of like a delivery simulator than a construction simulator, it's like, okay, um, de deliver this, you know, these things from point A to point B, but I don't know what it is, if it's the graphics of the game, or what, because I think that, you know, the graphics aren't necessarily the best in the world, but they're pretty good. I mean, I, I, I was, for this type of a game, this genre, trust me, I've seen some really, really horrible examples of, of what can potentially be called graphics. Um, oh, gosh, let's, uh, I'm just gonna dump everything on the on the site. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm not gonna get a bonus. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> Yay! Clear the area to proceed. All right, so I'm gonna reset these trucks. Uh, reset this, yes, and we're gonna go to our small excavator, and we're going to reset that to home. Yes, bling earned. $100,000 with construction contracts. So we're going to get 1,000 experience for that. That might be enough to put us up to level 5. Aspire, yay! Aspiring Journeyman. A new special mission is available. Ooh, special. And we got paid. 
And we also earned 1,316 experience. So we're up to level 5. We're already a good chunk into level 5. So let's jump out. We're going to see what the special mission is. Stage finished. Almost have 200,000. Uh, 200, oh, we got another 584 experience. Cool. All right, so let's go to jobs. So there, now we have these special jobs. Um, let's see, new vehicles. Let's see, talk to the foreman and then talk to Gerd. Um, shoot, I didn't start my watch here, but let's see here. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do this mission uh, because it should be pretty quick. Should only take like five, ten minutes at the most. Talk to the foreman. So, hey, Brad M73, I just checked our funds and I think it's time to extend our fleet, our vehicle fleet. Make a trip to the vehicle dealer. Maybe they can make us a good offer. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I'll show you the location on your map. Just ask for Gerd. I know him from the good old days. You can't miss him. He's a giant of a man. <laughs> Poor guy. I'll tell him you said that. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay, I'll check to see if they have any good offers for us. Alright, cool. So, we will uh, jump in the truck here and um, <clears throat> do a quick time lapse and uh, we will be over at the construction site. So, enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so we are here at the vehicle dealer. Just discovered the location. So we're going to pull up and we're going to say hi to Gerd, who hopefully does not suffer from Gerd. And if you know what Gerd is, uh, if you don't know what it is, look it up. <laughs> ah, who is this? You must be Bradham73. Why, yes, I am. My old friend Pete told me you were coming. How is the old rascal? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, see, I just got a few vehicles that might interest you. There's something for everybody. Uh, yeah, you must be Gerd. Nice to meet you, too. As far as I know, Pete is fine. And yes, he, we would consider, or we would like to increase our vehicle fleet by one vehicle. By one vehicle? Come on, let me make you an offer you can't refuse. I'll sell you a fleet of the most modern construction machines for a price you won't find anywhere else. One step at a time, Gerd. One step at a time. I think one is enough. Let's see. The big flatbed truck with a crane is really nice. Yes, it sure is a beauty. With the integrated crane, loading and unloading pallets and other stuff is as easy as pie. Look, I'll make you a great offer. But if you buy a vehicle, you can try it out right here on our premises. All right, good to know. Thank you very much. And they'll buy it back for 75%. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, did I buy the truck? Job revenues, um, no, I did not buy the truck, I don't think. I think it would be over here if I did, no. Okay. So that was the mission, whoa, big mission. So I need to buy a flatbed truck with a crane right here. I don't know what this import vehicle is. I think this is for mods, like for the mod uh, developers and stuff. So. Anyway, flatbed truck with a crane. So we're going to purchase this for 85 grand. <laughs> Bye. Okay, the first machine. And we, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't really 85 grand. It was, it was only like 65 grand because we get 20,000 back for buying our first vehicle. Okay, yeah. All right. So it should be around the corner here. Hello. And here's the truck. It's got a much longer flatbed. You can actually fit um, about eight uh, pallets on there. Uh, it also has this crane in here. And I'll show you how this thing works. It's pretty cool. So what you have to do is you have to actually hit uh, E. And you can see these outriggers. E and Q, you know, Q pull the outriggers back in and E will deploy them. And there's actually some in the back as well. Um, they're kind of harder to see, but they're like right back here. You can see them coming down. And it you know, lifts the truck up. Now, um, once it's lifted up, we can actually hit the tab key 
that'll transition us over to the crane. And essentially, uh, you use the WASD keys as well as the arrow keys. This is the arrow key here. Uh, this is the you know WASD keys, um, arrow keys, and it'll extend out pretty darn far. Um, if we look at it, let's see if I can zoom into the the tip here. Uh, I think it's as close in as I can go. But uh, look how long this thing. This, it just keeps going. Okay, I think this is the last part. Yeah. Yep, there it is. So you can use that for picking up uh, and dropping off um, the, uh, you know, the, the crates and things like that. Sometimes you still want to use the forklift for loading, but um, yeah, that's it. Another cool thing is, uh, if you haven't figured it out already, is you can hit the backspace button and it will reset the crane. Then you have to tab back to the vehicle to, um, you know, bring the outriggers back in. Actually, I think you can even hit, yeah, you can hit uh, backspace again to completely, um, you know, reset the truck. So it's kind of cool. If you're in a hurry and you don't want to do it all yourself, you can do it here. Um, you might, you guys also might notice that the frame rate is a little bit choppy. This is really the only place in the game, which unfortunately is where we're going to be doing a lot of work, um, is around the city, especially, you know, when you have a big background in view there. Um, if you, right about here is where the, the frame rate, you know, really improves. But once you tilt the camera up a certain distance, it really starts to, to go downhill. That's really the only performance issue I have with the game. Um, you know, other than that, it's been working really, really good. All right, well, guys, I am going to go and get these vehicles um, back to our uh, home base. I'll do that off screen, um, and we'll uh, end the episode here. And uh, once again, I thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Um, if, so, if so, please hit the like button and share. And don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think and subscribe for more videos like this and Farming Simulator and many other fun games. Guys, this is Construction Simulator 2015. I'm Brad M73. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.